Tonight in 7 News Flashback, when Queenslanders travel by long-distance coach. Before the birth of budget airlines, flying was expensive. Spending hours on a coach was the common way to travel around Australia. How you going? Going Greyhound. How you going? Going Greyhound. Anywhere you're going, it's... How you going? For generations of Australians, spending hours on a coach was part of life. It was the form of transport for the budget orientated and middle class to move from destination to destination all around Australia. Bus travel was a billion dollar competitive industry served by eight big players. While the two airlines charged what they wanted. But the coach companies promoted themselves like airlines. If you're on one of the five star coaches, I'll bet you're appreciating that extra legroom, blankets, pillows and magazines, not to mention the fewer stops. And how's that air conditioning? Makes for comfortable travelling, doesn't it? The company was the first express operator in Australia to computerise its passenger reservation system. A train strike in Queensland led to the company's birth in 1928. In Toowoomba, Russ Penfold filled his whippet car with paying passengers and drove to Brisbane. An instant business was born, but he needed a name. He looked no further than his bonnet ornament and a global brand was born. The Americans copied the name years later. Greyhound has featured in countless movies and songs. Thank God in Greyhound you're gone. Thank God in Greyhound you're I'm not sure why it happens, but I think every country and Western singer talks about leaving on a Greyhound bus. In 2000, the budget airlines took off and the bus industry crashed. Company collapses and mergers followed. Today, Greyhound is the one big national survivor. Now, we call it the dog family, but the dog family is a bit of a bitza. We're a mix of McCafferty's, we're a mix of Ansett Pioneer, Bus Australia, Barra. A decade ago, passengers travelled an average of 700 kilometres each trip. Now, it's 300 kilometres. No longer capital to capital, but town to town. Greyhound is reminded every 30 seconds of the impact of the airlines. Its base at Eagle Farm is right under the jet flight path. It's not a problem with these planes. Once I say, once again, you have to reinvent yourself. Bus travel remains vital for regional centres and keeps tourists moving across Queensland. 